Well, it's almost Halloween and soon ghosts and goblins will be roaming the streets in search of a sweet treat. But what about a real life spooky adventure from haunted houses to spooky lighthouses and chilling sites? Here are some of the top haunted spots in Rhode Island. You can take a paranormal tour of the famous Conjuring House in Burraville. Guided daily tours tell the true story of the home built back in 1736 and its haunted history involving the tormented spirit of a witch. The story, of course, turned into a blockbuster hit. Some believe the Loof Carousel in Crescent State Park in East Providence is haunted with sightings of an apparition of a woman staring into the lake in the park, as well as the carousel and music turning on by itself. The historic carousel is located at the former amusement park site, which experienced disasters such as a fire and the 1938 hurricane. Could there be ghosts at the historic Slater Mill in Pawtucket? The birthplace of the Industrial Revolution in America was home to dangerous labor practices, including child labor. Some of these children died in the factory and are said to still haunt the mill today. Visitors report one ghost child in particular who is known for, quote, giving out hugs. Other notable spots reported known to attract thrill seekers include the Breakers Mansion in Newport, said to be haunted by a former resident Alice. Also in Newport, the Rose Island Lighthouse with reports of unexplained whispers and footsteps. My parents actually stayed there. And the Graduate Hotel, formerly the Biltmore, guests have reported seeing a ghostly figure plummeting from an upstairs room. And the Cumberland Monastery featured on an episode of Ghost Hunters with reports of voices and doors slamming in the old building. And according to some guests at the Hotel Viking in Newport have reported seeing a little boy cleaning the floor. The historic hotel last year making the list of one of the nicest hotels in the Northeast. For The Roadshow, I'm Melissa Sardelli.